Christ 17 TV, baby. Back at it. You know, I got to get on my Christ 17 great adventures like Bill and Ted and get in the time machine, baby. 90s, we uptown. Today's subject is broads who will get you caught up and damn near get you killed. Remember living uptown, there used to be some broads that live on the end of the block. And they used to walk back and forth to the store, back and forth from down to, from the train. And you know what I'm saying? People used to try to holler, which was my people that be on the block. But they had, but, but they always be like, I got a man, so forth and this and that. So she used to come and have some dude. I don't know where, where dude came from, but. He used to be a fly dude. He used to have the Pele, all cut, dressed real nice with expensive ass stuff on, chains and stuff. So, after all that, turning motherfuckers down on the black shit, you know, motherfucker hollering at her and she acting like her shit don't stink, don't want to talk. But the funny part is, now you got you got the vultures watching the. Watching dude that you bring over here, who's not from our neighborhood. So, there was this time where one of the, you know, players just came on from jail. Just barely getting to introduce myself then because I was a shorty still. I was probably like 15 still. So, I'm just watching everything from the older guys, soaking it up like a sponge. I'm like, I'm on point like, like... Like, you don't know. I'm on point like a sharp sword. So, we see this guy and her come up to the store. He's got a Pele, Pele on fly shit with a fat chain on. So, the funny part is, they walk, they walk to the store, which is on the corner. And then, instead of walking right back down to the house, I guess this dude... He trying to talk to her, run his little game. So they take the long way and go all the way around the block in the back street, 214th Street all the way down and come back down, down Paulden. So the vultures is watching. So they go in the alley. They go grab the hammer. They throw on the, uh, the fucking hoodie and they start jogging down the block. So, they're going to meet them coming around. So, I'm on the corner. I'm still doing my thing. I ain't even, I ain't even know what was going on. Because they were talking amongst themselves, right? So, all I know, six minutes, seven minutes pass. They coming back down the block running. <laughs> and my partner, my older folks, he gone now. R.I.P. He got... Dude's Pele on, and he took his chain right there on the on the side block. I guess they ran into each other, pulled out the thing, give it up. You know what I'm saying? You're in the wrong part of town, buddy. So gave up the coat, gave up the chain. So now, old buddy, he called a cab and he get the fuck out of there because he was just robbed. He could have, they could have. Did him way worse. He didn't get pistol whip. He didn't get none of that. They just upped it. And he had to to come out his motherfucking coat and his chain. Old school shit. So now the same broad, after that, she come down the block. And she's like, why you do that for? Woody whoop whoop. And just going off and off and off and off. So next thing you know, a couple weeks go by. One of my other partners, crazy motherfucker, he started getting at the bitch and she started feeling him and she started fucking with him. So now this goes on for a while. He's going down there. He's fucking on the bitch. He's doing the whole shit. He's coming to me. He's like, yeah, you, you ain't never had a bitch give you a sponge bath on some player shit. Like, you know, he's talking shit to me because I'm young. He's like, you don't know about that. As he passes me the 32 of the old gold, he used to make me drink. With him every time nobody was out there to drink and I was there, he'd be like, you ain't going nowhere, you drinking with me today. Old English 32s all day to 
till I couldn't drink no more. And it be on hot days, cold days. It didn't fucking matter. We drinking OE. So he started fucking with the broad. But he crazy though. So I guess they get into it. And he ends up putting his hands on her. Nothing, you know, nothing where he broke her jaw. He just smacked her ass. So ends up, she has some people. I don't know if it's her cousin, her brother, but like, not even like a week, like probably like three, four days, these motherfuckers come up to our corner, and my boy who smacked the broad, they take off on him. Boom! But they didn't know the people across the street was all our people, and we all linked in together. So after they take off on them, small little, small scuffle, they start walking down. Towards the high school. Towards Evander. So. Folks from across. They come over. Yo. What's going on? Yeah man. The bitch had these motherfuckers come up here. Snuff me. So. Everybody goes. Gets they thing. I stay on the corner. Because I'm only like 15 still. And they like 19 and shit. So they start. Going that way. Come to find out. They run. Into these dudes. But. From behind, and there's like five of them, and there's like four of us. Well, not us, because I wasn't there, but my block. So they went, and they didn't even know that was them in front of them until he was like, yeah, that's the one kid. So one of the kids from the front who was with the group who came up here and hit my folks, they pulled out the thing and started shooting so they having a shootout on Gun Hill right by the school chasing these motherfuckers down towards the train. So now they shooting these motherfuckers. Nobody got hit on neither side. So they start running back up barns. You just see them all just running down the block of hoodies. Stashing things. Because, I mean, you could fucking hear it. They was getting off. They was getting off, boy. So when they got back to the block... Motherfucker told me the whole get down and this happened and it's all because of the broad. See, you don't know. When it's you in the hood and and you fucking with a broad from the hood, you don't know who her brother is, who her uncle is, who her cousin is. You don't know because these motherfuckers be ready to die for their sister or they female little cousin, they niece, you never know. So, you're not supposed to hit no female regardless, okay? Regardless. But, if you do, you got to know there's consequences. There's consequences to every action. There is a reaction. So, you got to watch what you do these days. Because that was just a story that came to my head where a, a broad bring her dude in a strange neighborhood... He got robbed. He never came back. He quit fucking with her because he probably thought the shit was a setup, which I would have thought too because as soon as you walk around the whole corner, you almost back to a crib. You, you, you get met with a gun out and break yourself. Jacket probably like a thousand. The chain was racks. I'm already knowing. Fat link on it. Everything was like real, real, real plush. So <clears throat> that was a time I just thought about where I said, you know what, let me speak on this on how putting your hands on a female can get you smoked, beat up, or almost killed. <clears throat> That's a fact. The funniest part is, ever since that day, my man and her got real tight. Like, real tight. Like, he fucked with her more. And I guess the slap, she must have liked that because... After that, he was down there all the time. Ain't nobody ever came back to the block trying to press nobody ever again. They chased him off. They never came back. So I guess for her, keep fucking with him. They felt dumb for even coming up here, sticking up for it. And that's how it be too is you go try to play Captain Saver. And then the person who that you trying to beat up or do something to. The next week, they right back together like nothing happened. So, you got to watch 
the company you keep and watch the females you keep because those females will set you up or you put your hands on them, somebody might come and put their hands on you or do worse. You know what I'm saying? So you always got to think because these days and times, motherfuckers quick to come back and shoot. They don't fight no more. There ain't no fair ones and fades and all this. A motherfucker gonna come back and shoot. First thing first, they gonna come back and smoke your ass. So, it's Christ 17 just throwing a little quick little, you know what I'm saying, think about it moment to y'all, to the fans, and just think about it. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't hit no, no females because a motherfucker will come back and try to tear your head off over their sister they cousin, they niece, they ex-wife, they baby mama, it doesn't matter. So, Christ 17 trying to hit you with a quick one, little quick throwback story that I was just thinking about. I said, you know what, let me throw this out there real quick and tell me in the comments if you ever been in a spot where you put hands on a female and it came back to bite you in the ass. Because it usually does. So, this Christ 17 with another throwback story like Bill and Ted and I'm out of here, you feel me, so like, subscribe, it don't cost nothing to hit the like button, or to subscribe, and share my videos, keep watching, I'm going to have some more throwback stories coming really soon, and it's going to be, not from here, from a whole different spot, and I'm going to have some special guests, tell some special stories on my channel, some throwback joints, so you be ready, because they coming, and they coming from a whole different coast, I'm going to go west coast, east coast, and back to the West Coast, baby. So this Christ 17 checking out, baby. Talk to you and catch you on the flip side, player.